So it's been a long time since the last FGA video where I explained the old version of FGA but uh, many things changed since then. So I'm going to start from the beginning and explain everything um, in the new version. It, this video is uh, mainly for beginners who don't know about FGA but people who already know um, they can maybe um, experiment and find the functions themselves or look um, through the video and find the parts that are new and then look at them and uh, see some hidden features you didn't know about. So um, this is the GitHub page of FJ and uh, if you scroll down here then you can see uh, there's a link to the website and there's a download button and if you click on the download button then under assets you can uh, see the APK and download it and now it says it's already downloaded do you want to download it again and I click cancel because I already have it I uh, already installed it but I haven't set it up yet so let's do that I open up uh, FGA It says uh, accessibility service disabled. I should enable it. Mm, let's do that. I click on FGA. I click on enable. And then I go back. And uh, now I click on start service. And it says I'm missing an overlay permission. I have to go to my settings. Go to FGA, uh, enable this, go back. Then it says um, I need to choose a folder where FGA can put um, the files. Uh, some image files for looking for some ports and um, where it can store a screenshot file. I'm gonna say choose and I already have uh, the folder Fateground Automata selected. I can go back. So here um, I click on F, uh, Feed Grand Automata and I choose uh, this folder. Not if you have an existing installation of the old version, don't choose the support folder. Choose the folder above it. Or if you don't have it already installed and, and in use, then just uh, create a new folder in the Explorer here and then select that new folder. I named it Fate Grand Automata because then you know what's it, uh, what's inside. Now I choose um, I allow it and now it asks me about permission of uh, streaming and um, I'm not gonna do that because it would mess up the recording. So what I'm gonna do instead is go to more options advanced and click use root for screenshots and now um, when I click on start service then it asks for root permissions and I just allowed it um, I have my phone is rooted that's why I could use that function and now I can click on start service and a play button appears but the play button right now is in the way. I, I don't need it uh, right now because I don't have anything set up. So I'm gonna click on start uh, stop service. Then I'm gonna go to battle configs and it says there are no configurations. So now we want to create a battle configuration, which is something that tells FGA how to behave, how to execute a quest. You click on the plus and then you can set a name and I'm gonna set up a Dante's team so I'm gonna input Dante's and click on the check mark um, then you uh, can input some notes if you want I'm not gonna do that and then uh, the main piece of the battle configuration the command so imagine you have three servants right now on the screen the first one is Dantes. The second one is Scadi and the third one is another Scadi, support Scadi. 
And usually what you want to do in the first wave is you activate the NP gain uh, skill and then buff Dante's quick cards and then you use the NP. Uh, you can see there's uh, some buttons, ABC, DEF, GHI, which stand for the skills of the servant. And since the NP gain skill is Dante's second skill, I'm going to click on B. Then it asks um, which servant should be targeted. But since that uh, skill doesn't have any target, it doesn't ask you who to uh, pick, uh, you have to click on no target. Now it says B at the top. Uh, then we want to uh, use the first Scadi's first skill, which is D. And now we have to select which servant's quick card should be buffed. And we want Dante's, which is servant 1. So now at the top it says D1, D for the first skill of the second servant, and 1, the first servant should be targeted. And we do the same for the second Scadi. And now we're ready to use the NP, granted that we have a MLB kaleidoscope. So I'm click, uh, gonna click on attack, like in the game. And now I select uh, Dante's NP. And I could also select some other NPs, but uh, in this case we only need Dante's NP. And I'm gonna click on next wave. So now we're in the next wave. All the enemies are killed. Next turn, um, which is here in attack, is something different. Next turn and same wave. That's if the enemies survived. So usually you want to have a free turn setup. So you want to use next wave instead of next turn and same wave. So now we go back to the command editor. Um, so now the first wave is killed and we face the second wave. And Dante's NP charge is probably around 50%. A bit over it, probably. So now we use the first Scadi's third skill and uh, fill up Dante's NP. F1. And now we can just use his NP again and go to the third wave. So now we're in the third wave and we want to use all the buffs and debuffs that are available, um, which are helpful for the battle. For example, um, we have the de uh, defense down from Scali, which is E and H. And those don't have targets, so we're going to choose no target for those and H. And now his uh, NP bar is at 50% again, so we have to fill it up. I1 and uh, we can use a master skill for example if we have the arctic master skills um, equipped then we can use K1 to buff his attack and NP damage so now we can say attack and use his NP but wait I forgot that he has uh, attack up and invincibility ignore skill so now we have to add that to the command. But luckily, it's easy to do. You just click on the uh, thing that you want to put it after. So for example, NP usage or uh, skills. Uh, so let's say after the second NP, we choose A and no target, since that skill has no target to select. And now it says um, A and then E. So then um, the defense downs come after that skill. Uh, you can also do uh, undo's. I just did that, so now I'm gonna add the uh, skill usage again. And this is the most basic setup that you can do. A free turn which should kill all the enemies. But even if it doesn't, uh, FJ will use face cards automatically after you, all the commands are used up. So uh, I just clicked on done, which means yeah, I'm happy with that command. 
Um, then next we can set up some materials that we want FGA to count. For example, if you're on the egg hunt right now, then you can select egg of tooth and then it will count uh, the number of egg drops that happen and will display the number at the end of your runs. But in this case, this is a, a general um, party that is used for all kinds of purposes. So I'm gonna disable egg of tooth again. Then uh, you can select the party, which should be selected when the quest is started. Uh, and let's say six is your Dante's uh, double study quest, um, quest setup. So we click on party six. There's uh, the next thing, card priority. You can set up the priority of the face cards if it needs to use them. Like if some enemies have, uh, survive your NP, then the rest of the attacks in the turn are prioritized by this default order. Or you can change it, you can change it to uh, use quick cards with the highest priority and the different um, letters here mean uh, weak, quick, weak, buster, weak arts use the, the cards that are strong against the enemies like a uh, uh, two times damage modifier because you're using wider cards against casters. Then in the middle we have the normal ones that don't have any bonus damage and uh, the least favorited are the resistant cards like if you use a caster card against the rider and do a half damage. So those are used as last resort if nothing else is available. You also have a brave change feature here um, where you can uh, tell FJ to uh, brave chain. Um, like if you uh, select with NP, then it will use the face cards of Dante's uh, with priority and the Scardi cards uh, don't have a high priority. Because usually all the cards are, are, are normal and not uh, weak ones, like the, that the enemy is, is weak against them. So in that case, you uh, probably want to use Brave Chains with NP to, in order to use uh, Dante's face cards. There's also a Void. Um, you want to set that if you use uh, Arash, Arash NP and it kills himself, and then you don't want to use face cards of Arash for that turn, for the rest of the turn. You want some other cards. So by pressing avoid, it will choose the cards that are not the one uh, of the one that used the NP. And then we have the function rearrange cards. If you activate it, then it will use uh, the cards with, it will select the cards with priority. For example, if you use the NP and then uh, uh, it needs to use face, two face cards, then it will choose the two best face cards. But instead of the order of uh, use the best as the second and the uh, second best as the third uh, card, it will swap the order around. So uh, if it um, selects past and arts um, as the best cards that are available, then without that enabled, then it will use NP Buster Arts. If you enable that, then it will use NP Arts Buster. Uh, usually you want that enabled because um, it helps you in most cases. Um, the spam mode I'll skip for now because it's a pretty complicated feature. Uh, like um, not not easy to explain and it's more for um, if you don't have free turn setups. Then um, we want Skadi, so she's in a caster slot. Uh, I click on the caster uh, image, which means select the caster support. And then um, the selection mode, um, usually you want it to have, uh, to have it on preferred, which means use a certain servant or CE. Friend, um, you can set it to select a certain friend, but you need uh, his name for that as an image. 
manual um, the FGA will stop and tell you to select the support and then you have to start it again and first is just use the first servant that pops up in the support list which is only if you don't really uh, care about the servant that is selected because you have the rest of your team set up so it can handle the quest but in most cases you want preferred and uh, on the right it says fallback uh, use the first or manual uh, if it can't find the servant then after some time with the default option manual then it will ask you to select the support yourself um, then under preferred you can set your preferred servants in this case uh, we want scuddy so I click on scuddy and um, we want to max ascended and her skills uh, we want all three of them to be in level 10 so I click on all three of them and uh, that way it will filter out those with non maxed skills which is helpful because in this case you don't want to use a, a scuddy that only has 30% NP charge or something like that or um, yeah, level uh, 6 quick buff because then the result will be different the battle will proceed differently and you can also set the preferred CEs um, for example right now in this event you want Bella Lisa um, because it's all about QP farming I'm talking about the summer event of 2021 by the way if you don't uh, look at the upload date and uh, I can set it to max limit broken and now um, I have everything set up um, the, the support selection um, shuffle cards is the one master skill where you can shuffle your cards um, but I personally don't uh, use that feature much so now we have a basic configuration and uh, it's now listed here um, you can do some other configurations but uh, I would say for now let's show FGA in action with some battle configuration what we need to do first is uh, start the service and then go to FGO So now we are in the summer event and I want to run uh, Chinchiro VIP. So I click, I make sure that the quest that I want to run is at the top. If it's like this, then it doesn't work because FGA selects the top quest. You have to scroll it down like this. And usually when you uh, run a quest multiple times, then it will be like that from the beginning when you load up the game. So in this stage, I can already press, uh, press the play button. I've uh, imported all my battle configurations that I normally have. And uh, my Dante's battle config is now called Chinchiro VIP. Um, here you can set uh, how many refills do you want to use and what of what type. You can use uh, sync quartz if you want to and um, it will use up um, if you set it up like this then it will use uh, gold first and then silver and then bronze if you set it up like this then it will use five bronze apples if you run out of mp but uh, in this event and right now i don't want to use um, any apples uh, below that we have uh, some limits you can set like you can set it to only uh, run once or twice or to some materials if you have set up how many uh, which materials to count if you want 10 eggs then you can set it up to farm 10 eggs and then if it's uh, finished with farming 10 eggs then it will notify you and uh, and stop the quest farming um, now I'm gonna run it unlimited and uh, I'm gonna click on OK. 
I've set it up to use uh, SCADI with Bella Lisa. So it looks for a SCADI with Bella Lisa, selects it, and starts the quest. You can pause in the um, bottom left and then resume. It also pauses if you close FGO or if you disable the screen. Like if you um, press the power button to lock your screen, then it automatically uh, pauses. Um, I'm going to press play again, so it should uh, do the battle. So it uses his first, uh, his NP gain skill, it buffs his quick cards, and now it uses his NP. And because of rearranged cards, it didn't use uh, his buster card and then Skadi, but the other way around. It optimized so the strongest card is at the end, because the, the third card, the, the later the card is in the row, the um, stronger it gets. Now it used the defense down buff once. I had to change it up a bit, the command for this event, because uh, here the camera is pretty strong and otherwise it would uh, survive the attack in some cases, the NP. So you see it survives here also, but um, so far I've had success with killing it every time. And it used some face cards to finish it off. And now comes the last wave and here it's not really important that everything uh, should be killed because um, even if uh, the servant here survives then it will use some face cards in the next turns to finish him off. Um, at that point the buff, buffs will have run out, uh, like the quick ups, um, but that doesn't, doesn't matter usually because then the enemies are almost dead. Here in this case I was able to kill everyone and now it says um, it, it clicks through the screens and then it clicks on repeat because I didn't set the limit. And now it selects Scully again and uh, everything repeats. And uh, now I'm gonna stop it with the stop button. And uh, it gives me a summary. Uh, the script was stopped by the user, by me. It took three turns. Uh, it took uh, three minutes and 14 seconds and it did one run. Uh, if you have uh, multiple ones, then it will give you an average of the, uh, the turns. And um, also, if you have set up some materials to count, it will tell you how many materials were used. If you have uh, refills enabled, it will also tell you how many refills were used and how many runs that was. So, um, yeah, this is the summer screen at the end if you uh, stop the script or if the AP runs out and you don't have any uh, refill options activated, then it will say the script was stopped because you're out of an AP um, and uh, it will vibrate and show you a message and then you can close FGO and wait a couple hours until you run FG again. Um, I'm gonna uh, minimize FGO now and go back to FG. Um, there's a new a uh, few things. First of all, I'm gonna stop the service um, and disable, I've uh, disabled that um, the service is started whenever FGA is opened. Um, a few uh, things um, that you want to set um, so FGA isn't killed by your system is um, you go to the settings and you click on the energy optimization, this is German, um, and choose don't optimize. This is different for each device. Uh, in my case, uh, I can do it like this. And um, I also had to, to do 
this kind of thing where I uh, tell it to lock so uh, it it can't close the app if it's inactive. If you lock the app then you can't swipe it away and it doesn't uh, close the app if it's become inactive. And I also had to activate some um, some OnePlus specific settings and they are different for each device. Um, some battery optimization, like for me it was sleep mode and um, yeah, th those are different for each device and we can only give you some hints on which settings could uh, that uh, could be that you have to set but we can test it if it really helps. Usually if FGA doesn't work after you go to sleep or some hours of inactivity then it's some battery optimization stuff or um, sometimes it doesn't register some clicks that also happened um, which is also some kind of, of hint for battery optimization. So now when you go to back to FGA um, there are some more options here you go to more options and there's things like skill confirmation um, skill confirmation if you have those dialog boxes that ask you um, every time do you want to use this skill okay cancel okay cancel um, this is not really um, helpful if you have a farming setup because it just wastes time if you have that enabled an FGO then you have to enable this option skill confirmation. Game server, um, usually it should auto detect the game server fine. Um, sometimes it doesn't um, on some devices or on some emulators and you can choose your server manually. Um, then story skip, uh, if it should skip the story, if you're using it for some sto story quests, um, enable withdraw um, if um, your party gets killed should FGA then withdraw from the battle and then try again if you have it on disabled like it's on, by, by default then uh, FGA will tell you yeah you you were killed uh, now what should I do stop on C drop and stop on C get stop on C drop means if it detects a rainbow chest with a C in it, uh, should it stop and tell you. Um, stop on C get is something like um, if you get born C's and it pops up, um, then it will stop if you enable that. Otherwise it will just um, close that, um, that window and you won't notice that you've already reached bond 10 with some servant. Stop on first clear rewards is something like um, do, do the quest um, multiple times for example if you want to use um, use it to clear some free quests until uh, the same free quest three times until you get the same quartz then you can enable that um, and then it will um, do the quest three times until you get the same quartz and then it will stop automatically. You can also just press the play button, uh, select three runs and then press OK and then it will also run it three times. Um, I personally don't use that feature. Screenshot drops for those who want to have uh, the drops screenshotted for Atlas Academy um, in order to help uh, gain some, some overview over the drop statistics like the drop chances and the last thing is boost item uh, which is used for special events where you have where you, you can select uh, some items to to boost your points for example in the uh, in the summer race event where you had the buster quick and arts boosters for the teams then uh, you can select which one to use here um, skip means don't use an item but it expects the window to pop up uh, where it asks you which to select and disabled is the window for the selection is not expected so it assumes that if you select a party then um, the next thing that happens is the battle 
and that is true for 99% of the time or even more like there are only two or three events so far that use boost items then storage uh, you can change the folder here uh, that FJ should use for its uh, for its files for its support uh, images Extract default support images. There are some um, default support servants and uh, CEs that you can select. For example, Merlin, Waver, Scadi, um, and uh, Queranskaya, which is new in JP. Uh, and for the CEs, there's Mona Lisa, Bella Lisa, and a few others for uh, bond points. If you want to add your own support images, like you want it to select um, Arjuna Alta, for example, and Kaleidoscope. Those are not provided by default. There's a feature for that in built-in FG. Um, but I'm going to show that uh, in a few minutes. Advanced. Um, this fine-tune. You can uh, change some, some options like um, how many milliseconds should it wait after uh, after skills um, and uh, in general and how long should it swipe uh, and how should it, how long should it uh, wait after swiping those are if something doesn't uh, work correctly for your phone for example if your phone is too slow then you want to increase the wait values and things because otherwise it will click too quickly and then uh, it will click on stuff that's not on the screen right now. There's also here an option how many um, how many times should it swipe in support screens until it gives up and how many times should it update the support list to find the servant that you want. The default is 5, I've set it to 20 uh, so it updates 20 times times um, 10 seconds because it has to wait 10 seconds between each try that's hard coded into FGO the the timer uh, 200 seconds so that's uh, three minutes um, three and a half minutes around the time you can also set it to 100 then it's like forever it will search for um, for the servant uh, on and on and on um, until it gives up but the next thing is debug mode debug mode enables some rectangles which will pop up on your screen and it will uh, tell us developers uh, what's going on uh, which images are detected and where does FGA look for the images this everything is, is image based. Um, FGA records a screen and looks for uh, for certain things on the screen. Like there are some images that are built into the application that it looks for. For example, the menu button or the tech button or um, or some servants that you want to have selected in the support. Those are looked for and by uh, enabling debug mode it will help uh, together with the option re record screen which is currently not available because i'm recording the screen using root mode because uh, otherwise the screen recording wouldn't work right now which i'm using to uh, record this tutorial um, debug mode yeah like i said you want to use it together with record screen and if it then click on the play button then it will uh, create a, a video file in the FGA folder, which you can then share with us developers on GitHub. And this way we can diagnose what's going uh, wrong. If you use some other type of recording for showing us what, what's going on, then you mess up FGA. FGA and the screen recorder that you're using can't both record the screen at the same time, so FGA then only sees a black screen at that point. Um, there's also a thing about uh, ignore notch calculation. In some cases, uh, you have to enable that um, when FGA 
can't uh, detect the, the area where FGO is uh, correctly. And there are also some, some things on Samsung that you have enabled, but that's all documented on GitHub. There's, there's some troubleshooting guides on what you have to do if FJ doesn't detect the images correctly. Auto start service, if you open up uh, FGA, then it starts a service and then the play button appears and then you can quickly uh, switch to FGO and click on play. Save some time. And the last thing is a beta feature. It will disappear in the near future, so uh, I won't explain it. Then we have some extra features. The first extra feature is the support image maker. Um, you can access it by going to your support list and then pressing the play button. And then there's a button support image maker at the bottom. And now it uh, tells you it recorded some screenshots of the servants you have. For example, it took some screenshots of Scali right here and of Bella Lisa and of the friend names, Eric and Dan. Uh, if you want to use the friend feature, where it selects the friend that is specified, then you want to uh, save the, the friend names. And you specify the file name here, but you don't have to specify JPEG or PNG, it will add that automatically. So just the, the base name before the dot. Um, Bella Lisa and Scully both uh, come by default. So we don't need this. But what if we want to use Anastasia? Or maybe we want to use some uh, bonus craft essence, like this one, for example. And there's also uh, Okta J Soji here, the second ascension. We can uh, press on the play button, support image maker. And then we will have Karma. Um, Karma, I'm not sure which ascension, uh, you can do it like this, Karma, and then slash, and then it will put that into the Karma folder. If you do it like that, then you can uh, group some ascensions, and then you can just specify you want Karma, instead of uh, you want to have either Karma Ascension 1, Karma Ascension 2, Karma Ascension 3. The default support images are structured like that, that you have Karma and then ESC. Um, I don't know which Ascension that is right now. I'm assuming 4, so I'm gonna just put it to ESC 4 and it will add PNG at the end and save it. Um, for Okta, so we know it's Okta J. Uh, to differentiate from the normal Okta and then it's Ascension 2, Ascension 2, done. Uh, then we have the, um, I don't know how it's called, um, let's just call it um, Napoleon, Summer, done. Um, friend name, I'm gonna skip that for now. And we don't need the second CE because it's the same as the first. When I click on done, then I created the uh, files. If we look into the file explorer, uh, into the uh, into the uh, FGA folder, then uh, we can see that on the servant there's Octo-J with ascension two, and there's Karma with Ascension 4 and if you specify Karma and slash Ascension 3 for another image then it will be added to that folder. And now if you go back to battle configurations uh, on a plus then we can set the servant to Karma or we can also combine it then it should select Karma or Okta J. We can do the same for the CEs, we can select the uh, Napoleon Summer uh, and we can also uh, use John Deere Tea Time for example, so use either one of those or um, Bella Lisa 
and Mona Lisa. So it chooses either Bella Lisa or Mona Lisa and it will be also shown right here. And then usually what you want to do in, in events like this, you want to set the event bonus filter to the Cs that you want. So you don't have to set it here in the app and create an image for all the CEs that pop up and then disappear into the archive um, until the next year. Um, so with the event bonus filter, you can uh, eliminate some steps and then you don't have to delete the CEs again after the event is over. Um, but for channel, like here, um, it's, it's good to have the, the default set outside of events. Yeah, and this way you can use the new supports. Um, you can also uh, go to the friends list and uh, there on the friends and following, for example, go to Archer and then you can um, do the support image maker and then you have uh, first Hassan and the two C's right here. Um, it doesn't matter that it's grayscale because uh, like uh, gray images, <clears throat> because FGA just uh, compares the, the grayed out images and not the colored images. So don't worry about that. And yeah, I'm gonna skip that for now because it's the same as in the other thing. Then if you go to the summons, then uh, if you switch to the FP summons, then you have to click on the free X 10x summon because it's different for each uh, server. So it's a bit hard to write the channel function for that, but it could be possible. Maybe it's added in the future. And then uh, you click on the play button and it will detect that it's uh, currently on the FP summon screen. And you can say you want to do 10 rolls or just three of them. I'm gonna do just three. And then it's gonna uh, do a 10 summon and then click, 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 click in the uh, bottom right. It will just spam the clicks to skip all the animations. And uh, now it's finished. It says script exit exited vault three times and um, you can close and um, you can also run it indefinitely like for a few minutes or half an hour until you stop FJ manually with the uh, with the stop button. Um, there's another feature of uh, you can combine CEs, you can level up CEs, but I don't have any experience with that, so I'm gonna skip that. Yeah, there are some other features I haven't explained in this video, but it's already too long. Um, and so you have to find out those features yourself or maybe look through GitHub and ask, uh, you can ask things there if it's unsure. Like I said, if FGA misbehaves after some hours, it's probably battery optimization. If uh, it doesn't detect the screen correctly, then either it's uh, it's some settings that you have to do for your phone, where we in GitHub give you some guides for it, or um, it can't detect the server that you're on. Or maybe um, FGO, like um, the Lightworks changed something again. For example, they changed the, um, the, the display the uh, button positions in JP uh, in the last few months a few times and that always breaks the image detection and then we have to fix that and publish a new version. Um, make sure to update the version regularly, especially if you face any problems with it, um, like if, if something doesn't work anymore or if, um, if uh, some you want to have some features, maybe we've already added them. Yeah, um, you can see the version that you've installed in uh, in this screen. It says build 1443 right now, which is the most up to date. And you can uh, check the, the current version on GitHub. 
there was a function uh, in the past to check for updates, but uh, we removed it again because uh, we would need the internet permissions and some people were afraid that we're sharing the user account data with the internet. But uh, it's open source. The source code is available on GitHub and you can look through the code if you're a programmer. Um, if you have some suggestion on features, then head over to GitHub and uh, open up a feature request. And if you encounter any bugs, don't comment under this YouTube video um, because nobody really will, will help you other than me. Go to GitHub. There's a thread on, uh, on GamePress. There's a uh, Reddit help thread uh, in the Grand Order subreddit. Um, there are some people who um, maybe help out, but the most success you'll have on uh, GitHub probably, but only if you uh, provide a proper uh, bug report like this. Um, if you don't give us any info, don't share any screenshots or videos with us, then we can't help you with your problems, probably. Uh, that's all for this video. Thank you for your attention and have fun farming with FG.